Hey creative friends, oh I hope you're getting a chance the long weekend to make something. It always feels so good to be back in uh, kind of the craft room workshop. Um, here I'm trying this one on my CO2 laser, but this uh, I will try this shortly on the diode laser as well, so stay tuned. But I'm trying denim for the very first time. Uh, my son had a very well used pair of Wrangler jeans. This is a fairly thick denim, well used, been washed lots. Um, and so I've taken a scrap here of his old jeans and I'm going to try engraving and cutting. Um, so a little bit tricky for the engraving because you don't want to get too deep that it just, you know, the jeans just fall apart. But um, if you can see that I've got a little flower image. I'm going to try the engrave. I'm going to start on about 20% power. And then for the cut, I'm going to start with 50%. Um, and I'll let you know if all this works. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. So this was my first engrave setting and I don't really like it. I think I can go a little bit higher with the engrave. Um, again, I will zoom in here to show you and I will show you what the final uh, settings are once I find something I like. Alright, so the power for the cut was perfect. I'll zoom in and show you. I think I'm going to go um, a touch more powerful for the engrave and see how that does. Okay, so again the cut was right on, 60% uh, power at 24 millimeters per second. Um, I had bumped the engraving up to 60%, 16 millimeters per second, and as you can tell, it engraves straight through uh, the denim. So um, engraving fabrics is very, very, very tricky. Uh, so it uh, it clear <laughs> it clear engraved right through that denim. Um, but I will tell you, whenever I had it up here at the 40% uh, power, I went and washed it, and you would never be able to use these uh, again. Maybe if you were very fragile and used it as a patch and didn't touch it much, it would have been okay. But as soon as I washed it, I went like that with my thumb, and you can see even the 40% um, power was too high but if you go any lower than that I don't know that it would leave a dark enough image to even be able to tell so I'm I'm not gonna try to do any more engraving on denim I'm just gonna do some cutting so anyway hope you enjoyed that experiment <laughs> um. okay so since the cutting works so well I'm just gonna stick with cutting for denim um, this is a pattern that I have shared on my channel before. Uh, I'm going to make a little notebook cover, and so I'm going to come back and cut some cardstock to go in here, and then this just gets folded up, um, and these tags here make a loop for a tiny little pin. So I'm going to make a, myself another one of these notebook covers, and I'm just going to use some regular um, embroidery floss to sew this up. And so these tabs make a little pocket so I can slide in, slide in my little paper uh, notebook and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, and here's just some of the cardstock cut up. These will end up being the pages that go inside the little, uh, little square notebook. So I've got a few already and I just cut a few more. I'll show you the final picture once it all gets uh, sewn together. Hey everybody, so it's a few days later and I've got this all stitched up. I forget how fun and relaxing it is just to do some simple stitches. But uh, anyway, here's my little denim notebook and one of these little tiny little Dollar Tree pins. And I put uh, that cut out paper, just fold it up and stuck it in the flaps. And I've got several several sheets in here, so of pretty thick uh, cardstock paper. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. And if you want this pattern again, I'll link to the video below um, for this SG 
SVG file and um, yeah denim denim works great to cut thanks for watching see you soon